Hi again. I hope you've been enjoying the videos and that they've been helpful. Uh, today I'm going to show you an exercise called the stomach curl. It's another, obviously, it's an abdominal exercise and it's similar to uh, what some people call crunches. But on the other hand, it's also very, very different. Um, there's a couple of things that I'd like for you to keep in mind when doing it. Uh, the first thing is you really want to allow your pelvis to remain stable. In other words, you don't want to over-engage your hip flexors and tighten them up and curl your tailbone and lift it up off the surface that you're lying on. What you really want to do, and this is a cue I give to many of my clients, you want to think right back across here, right sort of at the top of your tailbone and uh, right below your sacrum. That area, that band across there, feel that being very, very heavy on the surface that you're lying on and giving in to gravity. You're not pushing your tailbone down. If you do that, you'll arch your low back. It's sort of like um, simply unfurling. So right here, back here, is the back of my tailbone. And what I don't do is let it curl up like that. I keep it flat and reaching while I'm lifting and curling the upper part of my body. That's the first thing. The second thing is a lot of people when they are lying down and they start lifting their head and shoulders, they come from their neck and they tighten all up in here. So I want to show you a way to avoid doing that and it's something that I have played with for many years because I myself have a neck injury from when I was a child and certain things are problematic for me. So to get all the tension out of the neck, what muscles are we going to use? Remember back when I talked about the shoulder blades sliding down in a V? You're going to really use those muscles. You're really going to close your ribs and you're actually going to be lifting up from here, from your breastbone, from the sternum. So what I like to do is take the hands, gently interlace the fingers and extend the thumbs down. What you're doing is creating a little cradle for the base of your skull. And I place that on the base of my skull, the hands, and then the fingers, excuse me, my thumbs, go down my neck to support. So when you're lying down, your elbows are going to be out to the side like this. The first thing that you do, and I'm going to talk about the stomach in just a moment, because actually the first thing you do is engage your stomach muscles. But be just prior to lifting your head, you want to bring the elbows into sort of a V, they're going to be sort of reaching out, if you were in a room here, they're reaching toward the corners of the room. And at the same time, sliding the shoulder blades down in a V. So look at that again, and watch what happens all in here. The elbows lift into the V, and then you slide the shoulder blades down, and look how it looks like my neck is getting a little bit longer. The other thing that I'm doing is very gently, and the operative word here is gently, using my hands to traction my neck. So I'm gently pulling up this way with my hands at the same time that I'm sliding my shoulder blades down in a V, taking all the tension out of here. I'm also allowing my head simply to be heavy. My hands are what are lifting my head. So once again, it looks like elbows in a V, slide the shoulder blades down, gently traction the neck and the head, and then you're going to be lifting it. So in a second, I'm going to lie down and show you how to do that. Let me get back to the stomach. As I've said in the other videos, everything starts in the stomach. So when you are lying down and you're in the position to do this, you take a breath in, you begin to exhale, you start flattening the stomach back and across, and a split second later, while you continue to flatten the stomach, then you start lifting the head. You're going to stay up there for two or three breath cycles, 
Every time you exhale, you're going to be flattening your stomach a little bit more, sliding your shoulder blades down a little bit more, closing your ribs and reaching your sternum a little bit more. So even though it looks like you're simply remaining still and breathing, you are actually doing a whole bunch of stuff with all your muscles. And then when you do your final inhale, you allow your head to go down. So here's what it looks like. There are many foot positions that you can do, but for today I want to do the most basic one, which is feet flat, feet and knees in line with the center of your hip sockets. So you'd be creating parallel lines with your knees and your feet. Again, interlace the fingers, gently place them behind the head, thumbs down the neck. So I'm just going to do the lift and then go right back down and then I'm going to go through and do about five repetitions with me. Inhale, lifting the elbows in the V. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide the shoulder blades down, lift the head and curl forward. Notice I haven't done that. My hips stay perfectly still. Inhale, lower the head. All right, let's do, let's just do one together. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, flatten the stomach, slide the shoulder blades down, traction the head, and curl forward. Inhale, inflate the back of your lungs. Exhale, flatten the stomach a little bit deeper. Again, inhale into the back of your lungs. Exhale, flatten the stomach a little bit deeper once more. Inhale into the back of your lungs. Exhale, flatten the stomach a little bit deeper. Inhale, lower the head. Let's do that just once more. Inhale, lift the elbows. <clears throat> Exhale, flatten the stomach, slide the shoulder blades down, traction the head, and curl the head forward from the sternum. Inhale into the back of the lungs. Exhale, flatten the stomach here, back and across. Inhale into the back of the lungs. Exhale, close the ribs and point the sternum. Inhale, lower the head. I'm going to do one more. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, flatten the stomach, slide the shoulder blades down, traction the head, and curl the head forward. Inhale into the back of the lungs. Exhale, flatten the stomach a little deeper. Inhale into the back of the lungs. Exhale, flatten the stomach, slide the shoulder blades down, close the ribs, point the pubes, the, the sternum to the pubic bone. It gets confusing. Inhale down. So I would suggest that after you watch the video, pause it. Try it on your own three, four, five times in a row. Then come back and check the video and see if you have been doing all the little different things that I talked about in the video. It's a little confusing. It's a little overwhelming at first. But when you break it down into pieces and you just keep practicing, you will get it. And in the process of trying it, you're also going to be giving your stomach some work. And you're going to get a sense of how your body feels and how your body moves doing these kinds of exercises. Whether or not you have a tendency to grip into your hip flexors. Uh, if you do, stop for a moment. Lie still with your head down. Go back to taking a couple of deep breaths, filling up the back of your lungs, and every time you exhale, let yourself settle down and relax onto the table with particular focus on the front of your hips, the back of your hips, all around the pelvis. Just let that go. Feel like it's melting down into the table. And use gravity to work with you instead of against you. Like I said, feel the heaviness of the back of your tailbone. Once again, if you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Good for you. Keep it up. I'll see you next time. Thanks.